Novitas. Ladies and gentlemen, a very somber greetings to all of you. Kaul ki mokai ki tar ki mela. Kerata ko thoma ka gore. Ko botle ba le la tiritwing. Ke me loko. Ke me tswalle. Ke ba na bandina. Ke ba tswa di bandina. Kira ta to pay tribute to the four heroes in blue. And as we pay this tribute, I also want to recognize those who survived because they carried a burden as they remain. They leave the experience. And I think it is most difficult for them to. Today we remember the lives of Constable Novisi Lawrence Sutaku, of Constable Matiani John Masukwani, of Warrant Officer Joseph Lesoka Mafani, and Constable Masiti Ruben Molot. Ladies and gentlemen, the untimely deaths have left voice in our hearts. As their colleagues were singing, I know that deep in their hearts, they know that the spaces that they occupied at their workstations remain vacant and no one can never feel them in the same way that the four members used to because they are different and they are uniquely made as creatures of God. To the family members, friends, and close colleagues who are here this afternoon to say to you, as General Tameza has said, we share the loss with you. They passed on in a terrible accident. As speaker after speaker has mentioned, indeed, in my entire life, I have never experienced something like that. And I do not believe that I shall have the opportunity to experience something like that again. They were brothers, friends, fathers, and colleagues who are certainly going to be missed. Our four brothers, as well as Mutatenel, who is represented by his sons here, who are extremely also overcome by emotion. Made the ultimate sacrifice. Each year, in September, when we go to the union buildings, and the roll call is read, of over 80 members of this service that pay this ultimate exit, 
ultimate prize in protecting this nation. It's always a very helpful moment. And today is one of those. They paid with their lives while responding to the distress and a life-threatening situation of others. And I can say with boldness that when they got there, what, o what, overcome, what, what overcame them was the desire to serve and to protect. And that is what they did. We may have many thoughts as we remain. We can debate this at infinitum. We can dis debate it to the zenith. But when you were there and saw what happened, you knew that the ethos and the spirit of serving and protecting was well ingrained in their DNA as police. Ladies and gentlemen, I shall say it again. They were there to protect and to serve. They were there for others. And little did they know that they were no longer to return home to their loved ones. It is when such tragic incidents happen that we actually have an idea of what it meant when people say that life is too short. It is sad for me and for the whole organization to have lost dedicated members this way. I had their families come one by one here, talking about them being courageous, talking about them being clean, talking about them being committed, committed talking about them being caring. I can go on and on about the adages that I've heard from the family. And indeed, I want to say, we join you in saying, yes, they were dedicated. And yes, they served to protect this nation. And yes, this is what police are about. I'm certain that it is also a set time for the communities they used to serve. It is comforting to see so many of you in the hall to provide support to the families of our fallen heroes. In your silence, your message is strong to these families because they know that you are here because you care and you are saying, get healed. We recognize that there is no person in this world that can do anything or say anything to change what has transpired. Death is democratic and it comes to all of us. And we don't choose the way it comes to us. Let us accept that, that our savior and our maker chose that this is the way death shall come to them. <clears throat>